In the height of summer 2023, this was the most expensive estate for sale in the Hamptons. But it's now the dead of winter and it's not looking as good as it once did. Hey guys, I'm Ray Parisi with CNBC and we are way out in the Hamptons today here to check out the most expensive home for sale in Southampton. This oceanfront estate is called Ladoon. The price tag is $150 million dollars. A lot has changed since last summer. It is winter here now. The weather is grim and so are the updates on this real estate. It's bad news for the home seller and that gigantic price tag turned out to be a total pipe dream. Owner Louise Bluann, who toured the place with us last summer, was hoping to get $150 million for her pair of homes on the ocean, but she ended up getting nowhere near that number. What this place ultimately sold for in a minute, first, Let's rewind back to the summer for a quick look around. The property includes two homes, two pools, and a sunken tennis court. The main residence is over 11,000 square feet. Steps away is the estate's second home, also massive, spanning more than 9,000 square feet. When you cut from that summer video to winter, the house doesn't look so great, and on top of that, a recent storm did a real number on the fencing back here. And now some quick backstory. The mega residences were on and off the market for more than seven years. The last asking price, 150 million bucks. But while the owner was trying to unload the place, public records show both of the homes went into foreclosure. Morgan Stanley Private Bank slapped one house with a more than $16.5 million lien, and JGB Partners hit the other house with a $40 million lien. In other words, the owner had debt of at least 56.5 million bucks to clear. She filed for bankruptcy protection, switched brokers, and started a whole new sales strategy. The end game, sell both homes to the highest bidder at auction and hope to cover the liens and maybe even make some money on it. The results of that auction in a moment. First, here's what the previous broker, Sean Elliott of Nest Seekers, believed just the land here was worth. Today, to me, just the land alone would be worth north of $100 million. So if there were no houses here on these two lots, you think $100 million just for the dirt? Absolutely. This house is the furthest thing from a teardown, but if the house wasn't here, this lot alone, each one of them would be worth $50 million. In the end, Sean's estimate did not pan out, and a whole new set of brokers took the home to an auction run through Sotheby's with a company called Concierge Auctions. Bidding opened on January 18 with not much action till the auction's closing on January 24th, when only a few bids trickled in and the highest landed at 79 million, which came to about 40.5 million for this house and 38.5 million for the slightly smaller one. There was also a standard 12% buyer's fee, which added about nine and a half million bucks on top of that. The total price tag, including that buyer's fee, $88.5 million. In other words, that $150 million asking price took a 40% price chop. To see some other mega mansions that saw their asking prices chopped down to size at the auction block, scan this QR code or click the link in the description below. And if you want to see that full original tour of the Southampton place from the summer of 23, you can find it on YouTube by searching Tour $150 Million Hamptons Beach House at CNBC Prime. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.